Hey brothers and sisters, Groovy Kim here. I hope y'all are having a wonderful summer. I know I am. And that's one of the reasons why you haven't seen one of my videos lately. It's because I haven't been making them. Not because I've forgotten about you guys. No, I've been thinking about you a lot. No, I haven't forgotten about you guys. I have just been practicing what I preach, so to speak. Meaning, I've really been enjoying my summer. I have been taking it all in. I've been walking around in nature. In fact, Michael and I recently visited the Columbia River and the Snake River where they joined together in Eastern Washington. And it was a wonderful time and we got to put our feet in the river and cool off and we got to look at the pelicans and that was really interesting and when i was a real little kid i uh, lived in kennewick which is part of the tri-cities pasco richland and kennewick in washington state and so i got to see my old childhood uh, home and that was really interesting so my point of all of this is, it's important to really stop and pay attention and appreciate life and nature. Because if you're just going to work every day or going through the motions every day of life's chores, then you're not really taking anything in and really enjoying what life's all about and so i've been taking this summer and really thinking about how my health has been doing taking an inventory of my body as i enjoy nature how are you doing i know that with my rheumatoid arthritis it likes to raise its ugly head once in a while and I also know it's directly related to anxiety. And this is another reason, brothers and sisters, why it's so important to really practice everything that I'm trying to teach here in my videos on this channel. It's not just about meditation. Meditation is just a tool to help you lower your anxiety, it's excellent for your health and it's an excellent tool to help you do this but sometimes meditation just isn't the answer at least the traditional way of meditation that we think of like holding still and you know assuming the pose and closing your eyes some people's minds are just so busy that they can't hold still and relax like that which by the way is a warning sign if that's you warning that means that you have a high level of anxiety you can't even be peaceful in your own skin right so but don't worry about that as long as you channel the energy rather than stuffing it then you won't further any disease or health issues that you might have in fact you can reverse your health issues by on purpose you know making a purposeful effort to relax and take inventory of your body are you walking around like this or are you like this with your shoulders down are you like this or is your chin up and your shoulders back are you holding your posture in a purposeful way that supports your weight or is your back hurting because you're constantly shifting it on one hip? If you're purposeful about your actions in your body, almost like a dancer, then you can learn to actually heal yourself. Even when you're doing simple things like going on a walk or doing the dishes, anything really. And that's to focus your mind on how wonderful things really are rather than focusing your mind on 
troubles and worries. And I know a lot of you guys are, are uh, experiencing a terrible heat wave right now. That's a perfect example of learning how to really get in touch with your body. Because when you are suffering or you're miserable, anxious of any, of any sort, anything like that, that raises your blood pressure and is so unhealthy for you. Or your blood pressure can drop all of a sudden and you can faint. In other words, it has adverse consequences to your health. But you are so powerful, brothers and sisters. And I learned this because, boy, my health was going downhill terribly. My goodness, five years ago, I was so unhealthy, I could barely walk, and I certainly couldn't hold a pen to write my name. I was fast becoming an invalid. I was that sick. And I learned to take control. Once I realized that I had that power, boy, that unlocked so many doors. But I had to believe it, and I had to believe in myself. So this summer, I've been putting all of this into practice to try to maintain, okay? Because I get a lot of questions of, you know, you guys may, I had somebody watch one of my videos, for example, and say, now does that video, will that cure this situation with my body? And I always want to remind you guys, cure is not a thing. There is no cure for anything, okay, especially autoimmune disease, anxiety. It's more of a maintenance thing, right? That's like saying, if you weed the garden, I'm done, right? Uh, no, it's, it's a repeat thing. You have to do it all the time. Ongoing maintenance. Well, I did the dishes. How come I got to do them again? <laughs> okay, you, you get the picture. So if you have an autoimmune disease or you have any health issue that's chronic, it's called maintenance. Now, I am relatively symptom free for years now. After almost becoming an invalid, I'd say that's a really great success story. And I'm awfully proud of it. But I'll tell you what, it's not perfect. Once in a while, I'll be walking around and a hip will go, ah, I feel like somebody pinched me inside. I know it's rheumatoid arthritis. Sometimes my foot out of the blue will want to act like it wants to curl up and cramp on me. Boy, is that painful. What do I do? Get control of my breath and slow it down and take control. And I command all the sentient beings inside my body to take control of the situation and help me out. And I'm so grateful and thankful, but that's how I treat the situation. I focus my energy on the gratitude and say, Thank you for taking care of that awful pain I got right now in my foot, for example. And even though it hurts like hell, I still say it. I still say it in my head. Thank you for taking care of that. Now, here's the reason why that works. I know it's really weird. I know I'm wiggling the camera, sorry. Here's why that works. When you believe... When you utter those words and you allow yourself to just let yourself believe it, your subconscious doesn't know any different whether it is a fib or the honest God's uh -huh. truth. Your subconscious cannot tell the difference. Okay? Only your ego knows the difference. All right? So, you can balance. And this is a a little tiny little trick that's so easy to do. 
Some people call it the placebo effect. Okay, it's a very real thing and it really works. And what you do is you say, thank you for working on that. I see that you're working on that. Wow, you guys are doing a great job. You went right to it as soon as you noticed my pain. You went right to it and started working on that. Deep breath. Thank you. And then watch. It'll just start to dissolve. The pain will start to dissolve. And it's like you have your own personal little army inside that that truly is zapping the problem. Just zzz, like magic. This is how spontaneous healing occurs. For me, I didn't have a a woo-woo, spontaneous healing. Mine was more of a determination maintenance thing that all of a sudden started working really well. Sorry, we're wiggling the camera again. <laughs> it all of a sudden started working really well for me. And I'm relatively symptom free. Like I say, once in a while, I will have a little, feels like I'm being attacked on the inside. And then I'll right away realize what it is. And then I thank all the sentient beings for helping me out, for helping me being so powerful. And you, you get to know, or you need to know, that you are the captain of your own ship, meaning your body. You, will, you yourself are a sentient being that's just occupying a human form. Okay, understand this because it's so helpful to understand that. You're just having a human experience. That's all it is. And your light body will go on and have some other experience after this human body is, is all gone and dies. Your light being will go on and have some other experience. That's another topic. <laughs> but while you are occupying a human body, this is how you get to be the captain, captain of it. This is how you get to control whether it is diseased or not, happy or not, joyful or not. Once you understand how powerful you are, you literally can heal just about anything to the point of being so comfortable and joyous that a little symptom now and then that reminds you is totally tolerable compared to what you've been going through, right? So take the time to fall in love with life itself, including how miraculous your body that you get to occupy really is. It's better than any starship. It's a quantum computer that you actually control with your emotions. And so if you decide to be joyous and thankful and kind, that is called auto healing. <laughs> That's how you put your body in auto healing mode. If you let yourself be upset and miserable, that's auto disease mold, mode, right? And it's really that simple. And that's my secret. <laughs> but my videos are about how to do that, how to implement that into your everyday life. I'll show you one way I've been doing it. Our cat Tasia had kittens and I'm in love with them. They are so cute. Let me give you a close up. This one's dark colored, so it's hard to see, and they're growing so fast. Look how little they used to be, you guys. Oh, they're so cute. And so allowing yourself to fall in love with nature. I don't know if you can hear the water behind me, but you know, we have a little water feature that's got little goldfish in it, and I just love watching them. And we have plant life everywhere that take you know just the act of taking care of plants whether you have a garden or not which of course i do <laughs> i love to garden but even if you don't have one just a house plant and the act of taking care of it and giving love and kindness to it is good for your health as well 
And it's amazing. I've been so kind and loving to my plants in my yard that they're just absolutely thriving. Look at my dogwood tree. Look at that. Isn't that gorgeous? And it's because when I'm out there watering them, I actually, in my head, telepathically tell them that I love them. And I thank them for being so beautiful in my yard and blessing our yard with their beauty. And when you walk around in your life purposely having those kind of conversations in your head, you can't help but heal yourself. Right? So that's what, that's what this is all about. And I just want to thank you guys so much for hanging in there with me and subscribing to my channel. Thank you. Thank you again. And if you haven't, please do. And, you know, hanging with me because that's how we learn from each other. And that's what I'm all about is teaching you guys that it is within your power. You can do this. All right, brothers and sisters. And ne until next time, thanks for joining me.